Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Forer. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the equation of a straight line. When you have two points plotted on the Cartesian plane, you can draw a straight line between them. If you have a point A and a point B on a Cartesian plane, it is always important to know that the horizontal line is the x-axis and the vertical is the y-axis. So you can establish a line, straight line between these two points. What is important is to know that the general equation of a straight line is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. In this regard, m represents the gradient of the line. Our c is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So gradient is another word for slope. So do not get confused when you are doing engineering or some other applications in the future. Let us now look at this line with the points that we have been highlighting. And a starting point is for us to calculate the gradient. So if we are going to calculate the equation of this line, we need to find out what the gradient is. Remember, the gradient is the slope or the value of m in that equation. And for us to calculate the slope, we are supposed to find the change in y divided by the change in x. Some books refer this as difference in y over the difference in x, or much later, dy dx, as you continue studying mathematics. So let's see the difference in y and difference in x. So difference in x points when you go horizontal. So this is 3. 5 minus 2 gives us 3. And for the y, 18 minus 6. And this gives us 12. So we have 12 over 3, which gives us 4 as our gradient. Now that we know about the gradient, we need to find out what is the value of c. For us to know the value of c, we have to substitute our gradient into the equation. Our gradient, as you know, is 4. So we are now going to have y is equal to 4x plus c. Since we know that y is equal to 4x plus c, and we have been given two points of this line, it is important for us to now use one of these points, substituting it into this expression so that we can find the value of C. Remember, it is any of the points. It doesn't really matter. But in this case, we are going to use point A. So we'll put six. Always coordinates are placed in the form of X comma Y. So six represents Y is equal to four times 2 and then that is plus c it gives us the final value of c as negative 2 remember 4 times 2 is 8 so we subtract 8 both sides we will get 6 minus 8 it gives us negative 2 that's an important skill about linear equations so our final equation, then we are going to substitute our gradient, which is 4, and then our y-intercept is negative 2 to give a final expression that looks like that. y is equal to 4x minus 2. If we take n of the points and substitute into this expression, we should be able to get the same answer. Now that we used point A, we can also use point B to substitute into the same equation to see if the equal sign still maintains. So 18 is equal to 4 times 5 minus 2. This gives us 20 minus 2, and that will be 18 is equal to 18. If this uh, equal sign has been confirmed like this, then we are sure our result was correct. In this moment, we are going to find the equation of a straight line that passes through 4, 10 and 6, 18. We need to find the gradient, which is the change in y over change in x. So the change in x is 6 minus 4, it gives us 2, and the change in y is 8, from 18 minus 10. 
So we now divide the two and we get the result is 4. Please take note, gradient in some instances can be negative. It doesn't really matter. It depends on the nature of the line that you have been given. Now we need to find out what is the value of C. Substituting n of those points, we are substituting 4, 10 into this expression. So we are now going to have 10 is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16, plus C gives us C is equal to negative 6. That is 10 minus 16. If we now have our C and we have our gradient, our final equation now is supposed to be Y is equal to 4X minus 6. In this moment, we are looking at a different scenario. We have two points which you have been given, 4,6 and 10,30. So we need to find the equation of the line L. For the same reason, we have our two points and we need to find the value of M, which is our gradient. Please pause this video and quickly calculate M and let's see how you go about with it. Welcome back. Let's see. In this, we are now going to subtract 30 minus 6. These are the values of Y. Remember, these are the values of X. So, for X, we'll subtract 10. If we started with this point, B, for Y, we have to do the same thing for when we are dealing with X. So for x, we'll now have 10 minus 4. And this gives us our final result of 24 divided by 6, which is 4. Simply means we can now substitute our m into the equation and we will have that. When we substitute the point a for c, we will now have a scenario where 6 is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. When we subtract will get c is equal to negative 10. Since c is equal to negative 10, we can now substitute that into our main formula, which will now be y is equal to 4x minus 10. You need now to find practice questions so that you can enhance your skills. Mathematics simplified. Please like the video, post a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.